What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 10 of our Alpha Sapphire Let's Play on this channel. Please give me a thumbs up if you're liking this series so far, and I will continue to make it for you guys. Let's keep going here. Um, I'm pretty sure I've done... She looks insignificant. I'm pretty sure I've done everything there is to be done here. Hi, have you got a minute? Well, for you, anything. I just saw the contest spectacular. Your costume contest suited you perfectly. Your look inspired me. I rushed out to create a matching costume for a Pokemon. Hold on. I knew it! It's the Cosplay Pikachu. Are you giving it to me right now? <gasps> cosplay Pikachu is a very special Pikachu. It's very, very, very fashionable. And any costume looks fantastic on the Pikachu. You'll really, really, really stand out if you two go on stage with matching costumes. Oh, they just gave me a cosplay Pikachu. That's fantastic. Oh, that's so good. Um, however, I don't think I'm going to be doing any costume contests for a uh, for a little while. Maybe in the post game. Um, I want to raise a Pokemon the strongest and best for both battles and any contest spectacular. It's vexing trying to figure out which moves I should make it learn. I agree. That is a tough thing. What's the sailor doing hiding in the corner? Hey, man, I'm like majorly cheese, you know, like, you know, I just wanted to know why my Pokemon never won, you know, like, hey, so like, I gave the judge my two cents, you know, they're free, and he wouldn't hear me out, man, like, hey, so like, total buzzkill, man, hey, like, you, zip it, you know, just, you know, where I take this. Oh god, I'm loving this game way too much. I didn't even listen to what he said at the very end. I, I would have liked to do that voice a little bit more. Uh, but I got a TM from, from that dude. That's kind of cool. Let's um let's be on our way. Let's be Avenue. Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. That's the bike route, so we're not going to go that way. Aha! A Pokemon in the, uh, in the wilderness. Let's pop up both screens. That looks to be an Oddish, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to sneak on over to this Oddish. Oddish. Yep, that's a level 13 Oddish. That Oddish is level 13, I think. Wild Oddish. Let's go Beldum. Beldum's gonna do all of the work right now. Um, I don't want to kill this Oddish, so I'm not gonna go for the Zen Head, but I'm just gonna hit him with an Iron Head. Oddish is kind of tanky. You should be able to take that. Wow, that's a crit. Oh, that's so lucky. He goes for the sweet scent, a terrible, terrible move from a terrible, terrible Pokemon, and I'm going to just throw a Pokeball at this gentleman's beautiful face. Pokeball, go! Excellent. Uh, Oddish. Okay, so we've got an Oddish. We've got an Oddish and... Um, Chill grows to level 19. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Look at you, cute little Pokemon. Look at this. Registration complete. Aud complete. Oddish searches for fertile, nutrient-rich soil, then plants itself during the daytime while it is planted. This Pokemon's feet are thought to change shape and become similar to the roots of trees. Look at this little guy. Look at this. Your, your little root. Rudy guy. You're a Rudy guy. Good for you, Oddish. Go to box one. Yeah. Way to go, Oddish. Thank you for improving my Pokedex. Professor Birch will be very... Ah, Team Aqua. Let's keep going through Route 110 and head for Mount Chimney. Wow, that's quite far. Why don't we take a rest in Mauville City? It's on the way. Great idea. At least these guys are all working together. They seem like they're having a really good time. Uh, this looks to be a trainer battle. Hmm. <laughs> Pokefan Isabel is here. And she's got a little plusle. And if I know anything about this bozo here, it's that I'm going to hit him. Plusle, hit him with a ton of bolt. That's what Lieutenant Surge would say. I'm going to hit him with a... Uh, Ooh, bestow. He tried to give me an item, but I had, um, I already have an item. He tried to give me an orange berry. That's a weird move. Uh, but another Zen Headbutt should, uh, put him out. He goes for a spark. 
Doesn't hit too hard, but he gets the para. What is with Spark and getting para? Is it like a, I miss my Zen headbutt? He goes for another Spark. Beldum's now 50%. I miss again. He goes for a third Spark. It's a crit. Are you kidding me? See, I almost lost Beldum just now. Dude. Okay, so Minin's coming in, so I don't have a choice but to switch here. Let's have, um... Let's have Chill mop up a little bit here. Dude, that was really scary. Oh, man. Typical that I'd miss 10% chance to miss. i do it twice in a row. Let's go for a cut here. I outspeed, get that cut off. Bring him down to his Orin Berry. And uh, he's going to go for Switcheroo. So he's going to take my Silk Scarf and uh, give me nothing in return since he just chomped on that berry. Luckily, it's not a permanent Switcheroo steal. In Trainer Battles, you actually get those items back. So, no complaints here. Beldum grows to 17. And you know what I'm going to do right now is go all the way back to town. Miguel, what did I tell you, Miguel? What did I tell you? That's a bad Miguel. No evolving. <laughs> bad Miguel. None of that. Ooh. Ellie, I'm okay with you evolving. That's okay. That's okay. You can be a Kadabra because you're going to learn confusion now. I am all about that. I am all about it. Look at that. Nice spoon. Did you guys know that when you evolve from Kadabra to Alakazam, you actually decrease the Pokemon's weight? Kadabra would get hit harder by Grass Knot than Alakazam. Well, I mean, technically it wouldn't since Alakazam has higher special defense than Kadabra does. But my point is, the attack would be stronger. The attack would most certainly be stronger. So we're just going to heal up here because I don't want Beldum to die. And I'm incredibly scared right now that he might do just that. He's such a beast Pokemon right now. He's really putting in the finest of work. But um, it's just scary because sometimes you miss two Zen Headbutts in a row when you're paralyzed. Nothing worse. You're like implementing your own para flinch when you're paralyzed and using not 100% accuracy moves. That's scary. What's going on here? Three steps right and two steps forward to reach the trick house. This sounds cool. Let's go in here. You're being watched. Are you in the bush? Are you behind this weird thing? Are you in here? It's a scroll. But there's like, look at this, there's like black underneath it. That looks like a doorway to me. I call shenanigans. You in that window? Are you under the table? Ha! <laughs> ha, grr! How did you know I'd conceal myself beneath this desk? You're so... You know, buddy, it was like my sixth guess. There were only so many things I could do. Behold, for I am the greatest living mystery of all of a man in all of Hoenn. They call me the Trick Master. <laughs> Glad to meet you. You've challenged my trick house, haven't you? That's why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Consider your challenge accepted. Enter through the scroll. I knew it. I knew that was a door. And let your challenge commence. I shall be waiting in the back. One more thing. I have to warn you, my tricks. They're quite difficult. Don't get lost. An escape rope. All right. All right, so it looks like that's what we're doing uh, here in this episode, is checking out this, this uh, trick room. Let's go in here. We're going in. We're going down. I'm calling timber. We're gonna cut. We're gonna. Um, you're gonna fight me, aren't you? Yep. Looks like we're gonna be doing some trainer battles and uh, chopping down some trees today, tonight. Gulpin. Gulpin, you are gonna get slammed to the jammed by a Zen headbutt right now. Beldum is gonna absolutely embarrass you. You're gonna be sad. You, you're gonna wish you never got Zen headbutted by this Beldum. Bonk. Oh, good, it killed him. <laughs> In one shot. Perfect. 
Now that's that's the kind of thing. That's what I like to see. Aerial Ace, absolutely. Your 60 power, wing attack 60 power, but not perfect accuracy, just 100 accuracy. So I will take Aerial Ace any day of this first week. Ali grows to 17 also. Last Sally is dropped and defeated. Why so serious? What? Batman references? Let's cut this. No, oh, Vigoroth. You beautiful, chill little bro. Lava Cookie. That's pointless. Is that... Hopefully there's other useful items in here besides just lava cookies all over the place. All over the Law of Laplace. We've got a fighter. Battle Girl right up ahead. Uh, looks like another item to the north. Let's go get that item. Yeah. Can't can't pass it, just gotta cut it. It just, it really, it has to ask me every time whether or not I wanna cut it. Of course I wanna cut it. Of course. Why would I be talking to it if I didn't wanna cut it? If you just cut it without asking me if I wanted to cut it, then it would just be gone and it would be a moot point. It would be moo. You know, it's like a cow's opinion, it's moo. Friends reference, I'm a basic bitch. Let's go Beldum. Belt him against... This guy's part ground. Mm, I don't like that too much. It's him with a Zen... Uh, with not a Zen head, but... That's a crit. He goes for a Harden. I feel like there's no way he's going to survive another Zen head, but even after that Harden. They need to know I crit the first time. So I got him. We got him. And he's going to send out a Geodude. Ordinarily, I would switch to Miguel here, but I'm pretty sure I can uh, make quick work of this dude with a super effective Iron Head times two, because he's probably got Sturdy anyway. I mean, he's going to go for a rollout. I'll resist that, and it's low power. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with the Iron Head here and finish this Geo dude off. This dude's got the same name as me, bro. Denzo Washington. And I should earn twice as much money from this kid thanks to my... I do have that equipped, right? Let's verify, ladies and gentlemen. Challengers of the gym. Summary. Luck Incense. Beauty. Beauty. B-E-A. Beautiful. Uh, let's go this way and let's go fight that battle girl. I ought to battle. Okay. Let's do it. Battle girl Korra. Oh, no. A fighting type Pokemon against Beldum. I don't want to die. It's the same level as me. Ah, Metatite's strong. I don't think it's one hit me strong. One hit kill me strong. It's going to go for the Detect. I could have gotten a free switch out of Beldum there, but I'm going to risk the Biscuit here. He's going to go for Force Palm. Yeah, that's a lot of damage for a neutral hit on a Beldum. That's a critical hit. This meta... He hit me for 21. I've only got 22. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. We're going to go into... We're going to go into Miguel here. Miguel can take two Force Palms and I'm pretty sure can outspeed and one hit KO or at least do the remaining damage here. He's going to go for another Force Palm. How you doing, Miguel? Even that's almost a two-hit KO, but the beauty about this one is that I, I already said that uh, if Miguel goes down, I'm not getting rid of him. My other Pokemon, if they die... Oh, man. He goes for another Force Palm. I'm at nine. This Metatite, are you joking? He's so powerful. Hopefully he doesn't have egg moves, because he could bullet punch me right now, although I'd probably survive a bullet punch. Non-stab, 40 power. Uh, not very effective. Miguel gets boosted. Belton gets boosted. I got a bunch of almost dead Pokemon. This battle girl, man. She really put in some serious work against me. I'm going to have to feed some delicious, delicious berries to my guys right now. Uh, maybe I'll just maybe I'll just stick, stick with potions for now. Let's uh, use a potion on Miguel times two. And on Belton. So everything is, everything is fine and dandy and stuff like that. We're gonna cut down this prickly thorny tree. 
and pick up this map. Or a scroll. Memorize the secret code written on the scroll. Okay. So I thought I saw like a scroll at the back of the room over there. So let's see if I can... Uh, probably need to run all the way down there. I could have just gone to Joey. Little kid Joey right there. Trick Master is wonderful. <laughs> the door is unlocked. Ah, oh, look at that. And an item for me. Exp wow. Oh my god, they are not playing around with the items you get from this stuff. Hey, you made it this far. Hmm, you're sharp. Took me all night to plant those trees. <laughs> you're almost in my equal in greatness by one, two, three, four places. Great, you have earned this reward. TM talk, all right. All right. Scrub that smug smirk from your face. You're much too early to think you've won. I'll make new tricks to stump you. I will. You may mock me once you're done. Come back for the next exciting installment. And a little hammered out doorway here, which we walk through, and it just takes us back to the beginning. Cool. Wait, do we... He said we come back. You're being watched. Are you under the table again? No? Are you in this tree? <laughs> he was he was behind the tree. <laughs> you come to challenge my trick house. There he is. Yes, yes. Challenge is accepted. Scroll, blah, blah, blah. How many... Do I just get to do this over and over? Big hole behind the scroll. Would you like to go in? Yeah. Yeah, I want to go in. That's the name of this episode. The trick house. Clickety-clack. Mecha doll, 3 am I. Do you feel confident? An escape rope. 550. You better buy one. No. You should buy one. No, I'm not going to buy your stupid escape rope. Oh, I can't do this. I need to have brick break. Or Rock Smash, rather. Heh! <laughs> Boulders like this one. The ones in this room. I can brush aside with one finger. I doubt it, bro. Honestly, I kind of doubt it. Makuhita, I'm going to hit you with a massive Zen Head button. You're not going to appreciate it at all. Um, am I supposed to have Rock Smash right now? I'm going to look it up. No, I'm not. I'm just going to keep playing. <laughs> but that's going to suck if I have to spend 550 to pay for an escape rope to leave. Just because I don't have... Where do I get Rock Smash from? I thought I'd check like, most of the buildings and stuff. Zen Headbutt. There's a level 18 Machop. He could put in some hurt on me, I'm sure. Foresight. This is an unnecessary move, my friend. You were already going to hit me. Well, at this point, I might as well just hit him with the 100% accuracy Iron Head rather than risking the Bisking with a Zen Headbutt. A little bit more experience, and we are golden. Man, I... Seriously? Like, am I supposed to have Rock... Do I have Rock Smash? Qua? Rock Tomb? No Rock Smash. That guy's blocking that item, whatever it is. Okay, so I guess, uh... I guess I got nothing. I guess I got nothing. So that's it for the trick house for now, I suppose. Let's keep going this way. What's going on over here? That looks to be a trainer. That is a trainer in Didas. Do you feel the tug of our soul-soothing fragrance? It's a little bit of a weird thing to say to a ten-year-old boy, but... I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it fly, as it were. And you're gonna send out, ooh, a little Roselia, huh? Not bad. Not bad, Roselia. Okay, let's hit you with a Zen headbutt. Zen headbutt is going in right now. That's gonna do next to nothing. Actually, it hit pretty hard. That hit surprisingly hard. So let's beat you. Good. Great. I think that's the first evolved Pokemon we've seen. Roselia's evolved, right? 
I don't remember. I know there's Rosa Raid after you, but... Yeah. That's a lot of leveling up. Ellie learned Disable. That's kind of cool. If there's ever, like, Whitney's gym... No, Miguel. No, you do not. If there's ever, like, a Whitney's gym where they just keep using Rollout on me, I'm just going to go in there and disable it. Then we'll see what kind of mill tank you're mill tanking me with. Um, we got two kids over here and we got these bushes, but you know what? We spent a good amount of time in that, um, in that trick house, so we're actually going to call the episode here. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up in the, and in the uh, little area down below. Let people know that I'm doing a good job here. Let me know that you're liking these episodes, and I'm going to keep making them for you. As always, my name is Gym Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.